Hey everybody, it's Matt Bauer here with My Computer Works, and today I want to talk about VPNs. Before we get started, if you're watching this video, we know you're trying to learn. So if you have any questions at all, go ahead and send an email to matt at mycomputerworks.com or give us a call or go to the website linked in the description and we'll help you out. Give me a V, give me a P, give me an N. What does that spell? VPN. Now perhaps you've heard of this term, it stands for virtual private network. And basically what that means, it's a private connection between you and a service and the service and the internet. So instead of going directly through your internet service provider, you're going through an additional server through a service that's protected. It basically encrypts your connection to the internet. So it makes it more secure for you and keeps prying eyes out. A VPN filters all your network traffic, all your browsing, your emails, all of that stuff through its own network instead of through your internet service provider's network, which means all your online activities are hidden from your internet service provider and more importantly, cyber criminals. So it adds safety and anonymity to your online experience. Now here are some of the pros to getting a VPN. Number one, as I mentioned, security. Number two, privacy. Number three, geo-blocked content access. Now what I mean by that is, if you're trying to access a service that based on your location may not be accessible to you, this is a way around that. So you can connect to your VPN and based on the location of that server, it can allow you access to that service. Now those are the main pros of using a VPN, but here are some of the cons. Number one, potentially slower internet. So it would stand to reason that if you're trying to access a website or a streaming service and you're going through a relay, such as a VPN, there's a chance that the internet connection will slow down a little bit. Now, in my experience, I haven't seen much of a difference, but just know that that's a potential issue depending on your internet package. If you're like in Los Angeles and you wanna to connect to a VPN server in France, there might be a little bit of slowdown for you. But otherwise, I haven't had very many issues in that area. Number two, activity logs. Now, depending on where you live, VPN providers may be required by law to keep detailed activity reports of your usage of that VPN. This includes internet traffic, websites you visit, and further, government agencies all over the world may have access to those records in case they need them. Also, and this mainly goes for free or low cost VPNs, but sometimes the higher end VPN services do this too, they might sell your information or activity logs to third party advertisers to make money. So it's a good idea to check the terms and conditions of the service you choose to use before you use them. Now here, in no particular order, are the most well-known and trusted VPN services. One, ExpressVPN. Two, NordVPN. And three, the one that I use, is called Private Internet Access. Now these VPN services are not very expensive and are totally worth it in my opinion. But any of these services should work for you, depending on your needs. And some even have a free trial, so go ahead and check them out. It's real easy to sign up for a VPN. All you have to do is sign up for an account like you would any other service, download the software, run the software, and you're good to go. Well, thanks for watching. My name is Matt Bauer with My Computer Works. If you like this video, go ahead and hit that like button. If you wanna leave a comment below, please feel free to do so. And most importantly, subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any videos in the future. If you have any questions about VPNs, or if you have any questions in general about your computer, technology, smartphone, anything like that, go ahead and send an email to matt at mycomputerworks.com or click the link in the description below or just give us a call and we can answer your question and help you out. Again, this is Matt Bauer with My Computer Works. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time.